want a web browser made for the internet of today? We integrated technology that automatically blocks trackers, annoying ads, and shields everything that can cramp your style and destruct your privacy. With it, you can expect increased speeds nearly two times faster on laptops and up to seven times faster on mobile. Brave allows you to support your favorite publishers with automatic micropayments, so it's a win-win for you and your favorite sites. Try Brave. It's faster, safer, and ad-free. That is right. We are going to talk about Brave Browser. So um, there's kind of a couple cool things to talk about, um, but before I end up getting started, just to let everybody know I do make videos every single day talking about the crypto space, whether it be news or videos about companies or anything like that. Any money that I do make end up, ends up going to charity. So um, liking and subscribing does go a long way. Super appreciate everybody who has already, but yeah, let's get started. So <clears throat> right here I actually have on, on the landing page, uh, I have the uh, just the landing page of Brave itself. and. Um, and if you look at the, um, if you end up downloading and looking at the browser itself, it looks very familiar, and that's because it's built off of Chromium. I think that's the right word, <laughs> um, which is the same platform that Chrome uses to build their platform off of. So, the really nice thing about this is all Chrome extensions work well, work perfectly with Brave. I've moved all of my extensions over, all of my bookmarks, everything over, and the only thing I really notice the difference between it being Brave and Chrome is just I have a bunch more options and it's quicker. Um, I've noticed. So I've had this for about a week now, and as you see up here, I've, I've uh, you know, trackers blocked, you know, 467, there's been over 6,000 ads blocked, uh, you know, 20 HTTPS uh, upgrades, I've saved about six minutes of time, um, and that six minutes is, um, in fact, I'll, let's actually uh, talk about that. So at six minutes is actually uh, load time when it comes to pages. So because because some pages like like uh, LA Time, like uh, I know like LA uh, Weekly or, or whatever their main website is, they have a ton of ads on it, so it just takes forever to load. And as you see, some of these, you know, Fox.com, CNN, Time, uh, Brave is is much quicker because they remove all those ads, so you're not you're not paying or you're not uh, loading all of those ads. Um, and um, so they ended up doing a test on these four devices, two on landscape, two on portrait. They went to a, you know a bunch of these websites, and this is the results that they ended up getting. So um, they saw that you know um, you know whether you did Chrome or whether you did Safari, um, didn't matter what operating system you used or a phone or tablet, uh, Brave was much quicker. I mean, if you look at some of these. Uh, I mean, you got 19 times quicker. Uh, what is this? LATimes.com. Um, you know, 17 times quicker, 15 times quicker. So Brave is much quicker uh, than than you know Chrome and Safari and Firefox and um, you know Internet Explorer, and it's safer and uh, because they put in all of these protections. So they. Um, if you end up having, so I had a few uh, extensions that helped me with, you know, ad blocking and that sort of thing. But this essentially, if you were to put a bunch of different, you know, um, <laughs> extensions that helped with, you know, getting rid of uh, trackers and blocking them and blocking third-party cookies and and scripts and third-party, you know, device recognitions and encrypted your connection and, um, you know, all that stuff. It, you you would you not only would get you have to have a bunch of extensions but they all might not work well with another and they won't do everything that brave does so the nice thing um so not and uh not only does it block all of these ads but it it, it uh, makes it where you're anonymous so you can actually browse the web um anonymously and you know facebook and instagram and um you know uh, it's the same company <laughs> twitter and you know all these sites uh, that are taking your data and that that are selling them to third-party companies. They are no longer uh, going to be able to do that if you're using the Brave browser. So you are able to keep your data to yourself, which is um, awesome. Um, and as you, and there's just a bunch of other. Um, here's a, a feature list of what the Brave browser li you know does. I'm not going to go through them all. You guys can uh, can check them out yourself. Um, oh, they were okay. So 
there's a re rewards program as well that Braves is doing right now. And maybe I shouldn't talk about this because uh, um, uh, maybe I should talk about this more at the end because I'm kind of bouncing around a little bit. I'll just whatever. Okay, so you can become a creator, and I'll. Sh so this is what my uh, let's see. This is what my creator page looks like. I, I just made it. Um, it. Uh, uh, I was trying to go to my Tumblr site. I, I have a Tumblr crypto page. I don't know why, but um, I post on it. I, I love Tumblr. I'm a Tumblr whore. Um, but anyways, um, it has my YouTube channel. So since I am a creator and I put myself in the... Um, as a creator, if you go to... If you add Brave and you actually go to um, this... Uh, uh, channel of mine on YouTube you can actually go up and uh, and and tip me and actually give me basic attention token so you you would essentially just like I did right now you would go up to your browser there's a little triangle up here and you would just send a tip um, once you end up so outside of the creator you yourself because you've downloaded brave browser there's a way that you can earn this basic attention token so let's go back to basic attention token so essentially basic attention token is a cryptocurrency that brave uses um, to help pay creators so I'll just kind of from the site basic attention to token radically improves the efficiency of digital advertising by creating a new token that can be exchanged between publishers advertisers and users it all happens on the Ethereum blockchain. The token can be used to obtain a variety of advertising and attention-based services on the BAT platform. The utility of the token is based on user attention, which simply means a person focused a person's focused mental engagement. So um, this was, and you can read these like little stats, uh, um, they're kind of interesting, but uh, Google and Facebook take 70 Three percent of all ad dollar, ninety-nine percent of all growth revenue is recently down sixty-six percent. Box, but anyways, there's all this interesting stats down here about it. But uh, look into basic attention tokens, a cryptocurrency essentially that that you know is made to like help um, you know publishers and um, you know get um, get more money and whatnot. But it's a cryptocurrency that's ba that you can trade for you know fiat or you know U.S. dollars or you know whatever your your currency is. You'll be able to trade for that on um, on Coinbase and and um, different other different exchanges. But uh, at any rate, um, so not only can you, um, in fact, let's just go. It shows right here Coinbase. Just on Coinbase alone, it's blocking seven ads. Every single website has these has this little tiger up here and you, you can see what it's blocking so um, kinda cool um, yeah um, here's just a little article memory savings in Brave 33% to 66% in memory reduction over Chrome so this is also helping out with your memory as well and if you're using a phone which by the way this works on a phone as well if you're using a phone memory is way more crucial than a, than a regular computer although memory is always crucial but um, if you're using a phone you can transfer all of the bookmarks from Brave over to um, Chrome over to um, or sorry, from Chrome over to Brave, and then on on your phone, on your laptop, on your you know tablets, um, all everything syncs over. So, I I essentially just synced everything from Chrome onto Brave on my computer, and then synced my Brave computer to my phone, and now I have Brave, and it's working exactly like Chrome is, and um, it just makes it so much easier. But um, but yeah, if you, and then if you go to their team, um, they just have a insane um, amount of people that are working on the project. Uh, one of the big things I I feel like can make, will make or break a company is the people that are running it. It's one of the reasons why I never got into those weird tokens like uh, the like Substratum um, and. Uh, uh, Verge, you know, it's just like <laughs> the person that's leading it is just like, uh, I don't know. But uh, this team seems, um, ah, crap, I gotta log in. Stupid LinkedIn. Anyways, uh, this team, um, 
is huge and there's a lot of work going on it um, going on with this project as well uh, if you take a look at any of their social medias um, they post often there's they're often uh, I just saw a recently post with Cheddar they put they teamed up with Cheddar um, who's a if you don't know what Cheddar is then they're a big news organization but and I guess the last thing I'll mention before I wrap it up uh, is the fact that it does private browsing so you can browse normally if you want so you can uh, go here and turn off the shield completely so um, so there's no protection whatsoever and this is like brow browsing in a normal chrome and then you can turn on this and then it has all the the ad blockers and all that um, all those um, you know the encryption and the cookies not being allowed and the all that stuff um, will be activated and then you can go up here and then you can do a new private window which is just like um, you know which is uh, just like if you did a normal private window and then you can actually do a new private window with Tor and this actually pops you into Tor browsing um, which if you don't um, I just typed a random word in. But if you don't know what Tor browsing is, it essentially allows you to hop around from IP address to IP address without. So you, you browse the normal web, but you don't know, no one knows where you, you're coming from. So if you're on, you know, f um, Facebook or you're on, you know, you're browsing something, uh, you know, the browser or, you know, the service isn't tracking your every move and then, you know, uh, adding that to its algorithm that it has on you so it can you know give you better advertising or whatever um, so anytime you just do a regular google search this will, this is going through DuckDuckGo which is more for Tor browsing but you can just do regular browsing um, in this Tor browser or you can actually access the dark web through here um, or um, you know the black net or whatever you want to end up calling it uh, which a lot of people like to, you know, especially if they're going on to WikiLeaks or, you know, they're they're uh, you know going on to, you know, certain news sites or whatever. A lot of people don't like being, you know, don't like people knowing where where you're, where they're coming from. And then obviously there's all those, you know, like uh, all those uh, illegal sites like the Silk Road. If anybody remembers the Silk Road back in the day, that's where it was the largest, you know, uh, Bitcoin website that you could buy drugs and weapons and all sorts of stuff but anything that you could think illegal that could be bought and sold on you know in the black market or, or whatever you could find on the dark web I'm not going to show you that but it just has that enabled in case you know you'd want to um, you know browse without anybody knowing you know where your computer comes from so and real quickly essentially what Tor does is it like I am you know say I'm based in San, San Francisco and then I you know browse a website it's gonna take my IP and shoot it to Florida and then shoot it to Italy and then shoot shoot it to Australia then shoot it to you know whatever it shoots it all over the place and then when you're, the website shows that some IP address from Italy is going to it and not your actual IP. So it helps with that. <clears throat> but um, kind of really nice when you're browsing for sure. Uh, but in, in, in closing, um, here's my reference link on the screen. Just to let everyone know as a reminder, everything that I make does go straight to charity. I don't take a single penny in my pocket with anything I do with this. Um, or the other things that I do with this name and so any like or subscribe does go a very long way and I super appreciate anyone who has liked or subscribed so if you do end up downloading this use my reference link please it does help and it does for sure go a long ways but uh, I definitely recommend Brave whether you use my reference link or not Brave is amazing it's um, I mean, not only does it do everything that Chrome does plus more, but it's also built on the same, you know, the same um, operating s or the same, uh, you know, code as as Chrome. It uses Chromium. Um, it, you know, blocks ads. It blocks third-party recognition devices. It it does fingerprinting um, uh, prevention. It encrypts your connection. It you know, it, it controls your cookies. It does the HTTPS upgrading. It blocks scripts. Um, you can browse normal, browse with blocks, browse privately, or browse with Tor however you want to. Um, and you can earn money while browsing around um, and be part of the crypto 
um, community, browse much faster, um, and yeah, so I mean, there's just so much cool things, and, and eventually once you end up, uh, you know, making enough of these uh, tokens, they give you a wallet, and uh, you can end up, you know, taking these tokens you get for um, you know, say you, you create a web page where you, you just write articles, people could, you know, tip you and then you could take this tip and, you know, take it and cash it out in cash and Coinbase or, you know, whatever um, system you want. So, I mean, there's just so much cool stuff that goes with this. So I very, very much um, recommend this and and uh, yeah I'd really like to hear your thoughts below um, who's already been using it it's uh, did I miss something that this does by the way I'm I'm, I'm sure I, I did but um, but yeah I'd love to hear what you have to think leave comments below like subscribe super appreciate everybody again thank you so much and I will see you tomorrow in the next video take care bye